one of the things that we wanted to do was actually put some data behind, hey, is there any benefit of looking at straight grade in hotter environments compared to a multivis? So that's actually what this is here. So this is one of the things that we get a lot of questions about is, is okay, I'm running that straight grade in the winter, I'm in Florida or I'm in Georgia, somewhere really hot. Well, what we did here is, is we actually compared our straight grade, which is the 100 AD here on the, on the right, with our multivis in blue. So you would, it would make sense, right? If it's colder, it, the multivises are gonna perform better, right? It's a 20W, or for radials, 25W. So in the winter, it's going to be less viscous. It's gonna flow better. So you kind of see that here. The one thing I will point out is, is the Y axis here, these uh, delineations, they change a little bit. So keep that in mind, this is much bigger than, it kind of gets a little smaller. So one of the things too is, is if you look at 210F, which is 100 degrees C, this is a good comparison because whether you're Aeroshell, whether you're Phillips 66, Exxon, anybody, whether it's aviation engine oil or any oil for that matter, you're gonna test it at 100 degrees centigrade. It's a universal way. So you're comparing apples to apples, irrespective of brand. So when we look at it and we look at a multivis, excuse me, multivis and a straight grade, it's actually only a half a centistoke difference at 210. But what's pretty interesting is 250. And actually the multivises are thicker. If you think about it, we're not allowed to use the same chemistry in aviation engines as we do in our vehicles, right? They're ashless. So if we put zinc, molybdenum, and other things that are in automotive or diesel engine oils in aircraft engine oils, they will cause ash. And you don't wanna have ash in your additive system because then you can cause other problems, valve sticking and those types of things, right? So you don't want to do that. So automotive engine oils are very specific in chemistry, different toolbox, so to speak, than what we use here. So when we start talking about these, viscosity is the most important thing. The thicker the oil film that you can have between the metallic pieces, the more anti-wear or the resistance to wear that you're going to have. So the thicker the oil film as the temperature goes up, the more clearance that you have between those metallic parts. So therefore, if you start looking at 250 and then even up at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, there is a marked difference in that viscosity. Probably also here, 400F, my oil temp gauge will never read that, right? Well, temporarily, you can see oil temperatures if you think about it in a ring against a cylinder wall, you can very, very briefly see elevated oil temperatures. So having a thicker oil film at a higher temperature is the best way to reduce wear, okay? Hands down. So any relation back to maybe what you might see out in the field? Absolutely, so I've always heard that, you know, running a multi-grade oil is much, much better in the winter, but from the data that you've shown, it's all it's better year round. Correct, yeah. Um, and that's one of the things I've always heard, straight weight in the summer or whatever your climate is, if you refer back to the tech data that he was just talking about for what the OEM and everything says to use, um, or the TCDS type mm -hmm. certificate data sheet for your engine, it will give you specifications for temperature variance and tell you what you're allowed to run in your engines at different, or what is recommended for you to run in your engines for different temperature ranges. And the 20W50 usually meets all of those. Yep. So that, that's the most important thing, right? It all goes back to where the OEM recommends for viscosities. So, and again, it's brand agnostic. So you'll see a 20W50, you might see a 1550 in there. You might see the straight grade 100s also in there, but typically the straight grades will have temperature limitations, right? Because in an oil pump, if it's too thick, it's not gonna wanna pick up the oil in colder temperatures. It's not gonna flow to those critical areas nearly as quickly. So that's the reason why the multivises tend to be better across a much broader temperature range. So one of the things that you'll hear is that during engine startup, it's a dry start. Depending on how often you fly, the boundary layer slips off all of the components of your engine and collect back in your sump. And so during that starting process, you wear your engine almost as much as you will for that entire flight. So having that multi-weight is really, really critical to prevent a lot of wear for that. Can you start to dive into synthetic versus mineral? Sure. Because I feel like I get that question all the time.